Let's go, 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 Hello and welcome to the 2023 Great Flinders Football League A Grade Grand Final. The weather is hot here at Kaku and uh, my name is Brody Burrows. Today my co-commentator is the one and only Chris Tractor Prime. Primey, how are we going mate? Yeah, good guys. Um, yeah, no, it's, it's just bloody hot. Uh, <laughs> there's a, a zephyr of breeze just to keep us a little bit cool but it uh, doesn't affect any side. Fitness is going to be your telling factor today. Definitely will be mate. And, Tummy boys coming off a, uh, a tough game against Locke last weekend. How, how are the boys uh, shaping up for today? Uh, look, I think you know, they, they trained well through the week. Um, and sometimes that, that hard win's a, a good build-up. Um, Atlanta have had their measures throughout the year. And I think over the last couple of games have actually beaten them up a little bit. And that's uh, not in a, a bad way. It's, a, it's just a, been a bit more physical. So Tummy will be looking to counter that today. Definitely, and plenty of leg speed in this uh, in this Tumbi side, combined with with some old heads. As I think the boys have just entered out here, a few cheers from the winning Tumbi B grade side, just getting over the line, thanks to a, a Ryan Belt floater from about 45 in the last couple of minutes of the game. I think every kick of Ryan Belt's is a floater. <laughs> I was goal umpire, mate. There's either a goal or out in the fold. There was no in the middle for those ones. Here they go, about to run through the banner here, led by Captain Mitch Laurie. Yeah, the, the boys are. Yeah, it's, it's some good youth, and um, I think there's only two players in the side that have tasted Premiership glory for Tubby Bay in Josh Cave and Tom Kelly. Um, we're both members of the 2009 Tumby Premiership side. Yep, Yolanda going for their ninth Premiership today in 11 years. Tumby their first since 2009, and it's just great to see. Small oval today, I think this could be anyone's game. If we saw in the, uh, in the, in the second semi, Yolanda just burst out of the blocks early, and Tumby Bay will play and catch up footy for the rest of the day. Oh, look, and, and that's what Tumby's got to counter today. They've got to stay in the game as long as they can and, and then see what happens. So, um, yeah, it'll be a challenge for the boys, but I'm sure they'll be looking forward to it. Yep. Yeah. All right, ready for the first bounce here for the Great Flinders A-grade grand final. This has been a late change with Ben Carr popping his calf in the warm-up. Not the best day to be popping calves there, Primey. Uh, no, it's an old old man's injury, so I got told. So um, Ben's not that old. So <laughs> um, Zach Glover's fronted up for a uh, second game. So um, yeah, tough tough break on grand final day. Yeah, not something you want to see. But umpires Harrifield, Franks, and Simon Pedler to control proceedings here today. Nigel Anna winning the toss and kicking to the left of screen. Stephen Crettenden, captain for Tumby Bay. Mitch Laurie, the captain. Ah, uh, sorry, Stephen Crettenden, the cap, the captain of United Jelana, and Mitch Laurie, the captain of Tumby Bay. All right, looks like Harrowfield's going to start things off here in the middle. It's going to be nice and hot early. James starting in the ruck here against Conlon. Harrowfield throws the ball up. James just belts it away straight down to McLeod. Had a great game last week. Watson's going to shark this, trying to go into his left. Good good uh, contest there by Calderwood. Gale with a hand out to Franks. Tumby Bay looking good here early. Jackson Norton fits it straight out of bounds. Get ready to call that all day, I reckon, Primey. Yeah, uh, good entry by Tumby. Just uh, Jackson Norton got back there. As you said, all day he'll be in a bit of a pain for the Tumby forwards. Yep. Ball gets thrown in and wrapped up straight away. McDonald boys have been good throughout the ruck so far this year. Twin Taz, they've been called. Goes up, wins the tap down easy. Ball just gets belted around, no one really wants to grab it. McLeod on the right foot, it looks good. What a start for Tumby Bay. McLeod with the first one here. Yes, McLeod, he kicked four last week and he started off well again this week. Um, very, very pacey midfield, a good pick up for Tumby this year, don't guess. Yep, best on ground by a country mile last week, Grant McLeod. Kicking goals from stoppages, showing why he's been so valuable for this side all year. What a start for Tumby. You and I said they need to start very hot if they're going to keep up with this in Igelana side all day. Just right. what the doctor ordered from me. It is, and I've started a bit with a bit more physical presence in the middle with Calderwood and James in the guts. Harrifield throws the ball up again here. James just reading it. Beautiful early. Throwing the head back. 
Harrowfield's having absolutely none of it. Hard to get a, a man of that size pretty high, <laughs> isn't it, Prong? It is. Two Ruckman go at it again. James on fire early here. Clearance won by Mitch Laurie. Handball's out to no one. Snag Watson there. Just taps it out in front of his brother, Plugger. Gets a kick to no one. Harrowfield's called a free here. Gets Jamesy. Yep. Maxfield here on the wing for United Jelana. Looking inside. Finds Plugger Creddy there in the middle. He'll just control that centre line all day, you think. Tummy Bay doing a good job pushing back in numbers here. Pass. Best thing about these Cretans, they don't waste many disposals. Yeah, Steve's Cretan there. Um, they just hit each other up. Cretan into Cretan, and I'm going to see Cretan and Cretan and Cretan in early. That goes out wide looking for Casey Carr. Read well there by Joe Walker as the ball trickles out in the Nigel Anna right forward pocket. Tummy Bay flooded back well then, but Yolanda's uh, use is always pretty spot on, so they'll have to keep that up all day. Umpire throws a ball in. Just gets tapped around. Once again, no one can really grab it, and it's going to be a ball up 35 metres out from United Yolanda's goal. Pretty much man on man all over the ground here, so there's not too many loose players around. Ball just gets tapped out into space there. Trickles out of bounds. Quick shot at goal. And that's going to be out of bounds on the fall. Three minutes gone here in the first quarter. Tummy Bay, one goal to Yolanda, no score. Bay bring it back in. Just a contest out there. No one in particular going for the mark. And there'll be another ball up on the half forward line for Yolanda. Pressure's on a lot a lot better for uh, for Tummy Bay compared to the second semi final. They got blown away early. And here, James into the midfield. He just looks to throw his body around a little bit. So now Yolanda get another forward entry. Kai Miller goes to drop back into the hole. Cretanen comes charging out. Oh, sorry, that's not Cretanen. It is Cretanen, but it's the wrong Cretanen I was thinking of. <laughs> There's too many of them. There is too many of them. If you say Cretton, you've got a fair chance. And three kicks being plucked here to Yolanda. To who, Bromi? To Cretton, I reckon. <laughs> if in doubt. Now, uh, plug a Cretton. We're going to have to kick this one from 50. Breeze has been a little bit swirly today. Drop parts aren't always the most effective on these days. We'll see how it goes. Looking right. for the pass. Goes in short, looking for Casey Carr. Finds him in the right forward pocket. It's going to be a tough kick from there, but he kicked one very similar to this in the second semi-final. It was never in doubt and just dropped punted it straight through. A bit disappointing uh, marking there by Tumbly. I reckon his man got caught on the mark of, of uh, Credit's pass and uh, he was well loose. Tough kick. Casey Carr coming in. What does he think? Tell you what, he likes it off the boot. That was a great goal. Casey Carr. Evens it up there. Now, one goal, six, United Delana to one goal, six, Tummy Bay. Nearly five minutes gone here in the first quarter. Pressure's on early. Dry conditions, fast ball movement. Might be a few uh, tired boys come the fourth quarter, Promi. I think so. The, the good thing is that both sides are up and about. Um, yeah, both sides have really, really thrown themselves in, so just how long both sides can keep at it. Like, um, Delana have got the experience. Tummy have just got to keep at it for all four quarters. Both sides have dangerous forward lines. Clearance battle could come down to see who actually wins this game. Conlon getting the tap there. Maxfield just keeps pushing it forward out in front of Cretenden here. Cretenden of the Stephen Variety handballs out. Intercepted there by Ezra Foster. Ezra Foster, big Ezra. Ezra. Thomas Allen. Looking forward. And yeah, Delano drops back well, very well there. Uh, Credit's everywhere. Yeah, I think that's Plugger's fourth possession in five minutes. So he started well here for the Eagles. You wouldn't expect anything else from the experienced campaigner. Goes out wide there looking for Jaden Agars. Interfered with it looks like. Yeah. Oh, umpire's called play on and he's changed his mind again. That's going to go to Jaden Agars on the half-back flank here for the Eagles. It's an interesting decision. Once you play on, you play on. But, <laughs> yeah. I haven't got my green shirt on. <laughs> Back through the guts. Risk, risky kick inside here. Swain Ackland, just a classy player with speed here. Handles back to Kai Miller. He'll go, look to go on his left here. Takes the game on. Just takes on Mitch Jolly. Says, try and catch me. Tries to talk. Got onto a few of them last week. Down to Hartwig. Hartwig robes his own ball. It's going to be a ball up here. Just up from centre half forward for Tommy Bay. Very congested area. James up again. Three minutes to knock out, down to Miller. He's wrapped up, and there's going to be another ball up here. 
Yeah, Kai Miller can't afford to give him any space at all. We saw last week change the game with just a, a, a few touches. Ball goes up again. Tap one down there by Conlon. Maxfield, super clean in stoppage. Hands out to Dyer. Dyer can't grab it. Franks just jams it onto the boot there looking for Sumner. Oh, it's spoiled well there by Dane Hadner. Oh, that's got to be holding the ball there. Tried to take on a bit too much there, Prom. Yeah, Colwood thought he was still playing B grade. And, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, just got tangled up. Here for Gretnan's fifth touch in seven minutes of football. Looks good off the boat. Watson dropped what he probably should have taken there. He goes on the right foot, not something you see very often there, Primey. Yeah, and Vine's car down there. It's probably a little bit fortunate, but it was in the right direction. Casey Carr goes forward, looking for Jolly. But, uh, uh, good tackle, the ball spilled loose. Now to Thomas Allen, who's gone back on himself and he goes back. Can't see for the umpire. Out in front of Summer here, if he gets it, good luck trying to catch him. Keepers. Great Flinders Football League, under 21, best in Ferris. Can change a game in a heartbeat, that, that boy. Sorry boys, lost the, I lost the ball then. <laughs> ah, that's alright mate. Ball just fisted down there, umpires picked a free kick out here think, to Lana. I think it's for the third man up there. Oh yep, that's good a, pick up from him. That's an interesting rule, it's different in every league, it's hard <laughs> to find out. I think it's different with every umpire and uh, how they're feeling on the day too. And anyway. the, the Foster scored again, the ball back on the ground. Calderwood throwing his weight around in there. He had a quick hands. Snag Watson, inside 50 for the Eagles, just going to drift over. Uh, good fist by Joey Walker out in front of Hudson Crank, Hud, Hudson Franks. He needs to pick it up here, he's got speed, the young fella. Kicks inside 50. Oh, hanging on here, free kick. Free kick to Jack McDonald. Yep. No, no argument there from Aaron Laurie. Jack and Tola are difficult to tell apart. One has got a straighter nose and the other side. Um, <laughs> so if we say McDonald, like we're saying, correct we should be yes. right. Yeah. Right. Call us in, Primey. Uh, Jack, we're right behind him here. Left it to the right. Still goes. Yeah, excellent. Straight through the guts. So. Goal to Jack McDonald, free kick for holding on. Um, once again, Tummy moves the ball well into the forward lines and bring up their second goal. Pressure's on here early. Tummy Bay off to a really good start. Two goals, 12 leading in Nigelana, one goal straight. Nine minutes into the first quarter here. It's exactly what Tummy Bay needed. It is, and um, with that, Jack McDonald will go into the middle and Nigel Jones goes down the forward lines for a rest. It's good to have two good quality big men who can just swap straight out of full forward like that. Umpire throws the ball up here. Tap one down by McDonald. Wrapped up straight away. It's going to get thrown up straight away here again. Lucky Gale's gone in the middle as well for Tumby. With Sumner and Miller. Bit of leg speed there for Tumby Bay if they can get it on the outside. Car dove on it. Just got it out. Adam Manane just chucks it on the boot. Oh, falls down to Breed. Breed spoiled there by Gary. Ball goes inside here. Oh, Is that going to be a free kick? No, umpire says play on there. Ball trickles out here to the half forward oh, flank for Nigel Lana. Bodies Alex. flying everywhere. It's what you love to see on grand final day. Thomas Allen's been taken well out of the air. Look, uh, he has got up. He's a tough young kid, that one. He'll, he'll get back up and run all day. And we've ended up in the forward pocket for Yolanda for a ball up. So all, it's all happening here. It is. Bodies flying everywhere. Exactly what you'd expect from these two sides on a grand final day. Miller tries to get it out. Tell you what, it's just shark straight off the... Boot there is it by Watson. Oh, it's rushed through for a behind there by Walker, Tumby Bay. Walker gets back there and rushes it through. Walker there winning the Roger Dunn medal this year, I believe, Primey. He did. Uh, third in the male medal and uh, won Tumby's best and fairest. So I think that's his fourth yep. uh, best and fairest for Tumby. Not surprised. Just a super reliable player week in, week out is Joey Walker. That uh, brings it to Yolanda. One goal, one, seven, trailing Tumby Bay. Two goals straight, 12, 11 minutes gone in the first as Conlon intercepts it here. At centre half forward for the Eagles, kicks inside, spoiled there again by Ezra Foster. Um, the crowd comes out, great and kick. Finds Mitch Lowry here on the wing. He's held up. Uh, Play asked a little bit too much of Hudson Franks there. Bryce Brady intercepted and got a free kick for too high. Stop the flow of, of the flow of play there to Wade Gary. They were off if he didn't do that. So one of those smart free kicks you don't mind giving away there, Primey. So 
Braves looking towards the four lines again, looking for a free man. And Tommy, Bay, Tommy Bay setting really well up behind the ball here. McDonald's just dropped behind the ball. Jaden Agar's in the forward line, not something you see every day either. Higgins sod it and wrapped up there. I reckon there'll be another ball up here. I think we'll have a lot of changes on and off the bench here. Such a warm day. No interchange cap locked the AFL here. Miller just gets a handball out to Sumner. He'll try and take him on here. And he does. And he's oh, nearly wrapped up there by Jaden Agar's. Higgins there, runs straight into a tackle. Umpire's going to throw the ball up here on the wing. Good tap down there again by Conlon. Tumby Bay just charging in to the, for the ball and the man. They're doing really good here. Franks goes into the forward line looking for Tom McDonald. Just short. Hello. Good tackle. Yeah, comes out to Watson to Watson here. Xavier goes on his left, looking inside, looking for Spoggy Crittenden. Goes straight over. It's going to be a good contest between two players. Right at the ball there was Walker and Spoggy Crittenden. Played plenty of rep footy there together. Out to Bajayas. Bajayas actually had a pretty good final series. I thought he was pretty impressive last week against Locke. Yeah, he, uh, he's been pretty sore through, through it all. Uh, Thomas Allen dodges and waves and goes into the forward line looking for McDonald again. Higgins at ground level. Led to it by Yolanda. Out to Norton. Oh, oh. And that is holding the ball. Good pressure, right. good pressure there by Swain Ackland. Yeah, Swain's pretty quick and pretty smart football. He'll be looking for a lead into the forward lines here. Taking his time. Stood Going up. Long. Stood McDonald. up. Double handed. Punch over the line for a ball. Tell you what, Spud Frawley would have been happy with, with that fist out of bounds, wouldn't he? Yeah, I still reckon you can get two hands to punch it and you can mark it. So <laughs> the ball comes back in. Hartwood wins the knock. Down to Sumner. A little bit of magic. It's punch out on the line. Oh, something's in oh. the soccer off the ground. Oh, he can just take it high. Yeah. I reckon he'll get a shot at goal here from only about 10 metres out. And not too bad or angry, so... Um, He's doing his job there, just front and square of the contest and just taking a little bit more. Very nippy, small forward slash uh, wangy kind of operator is Higgins, isn't he? He is the um, great little ball reader. Struggled with a bit of injury over through last year, but he's a great test him for distance. But he likes it. Three. Tumby Bay, three goals, 18, leading United Jelana. One goal, one seven here. About 14 minutes gone in the first quarter. Tommy Bay have come to play today. They are doing what they have to do at this stage, putting the pressure on the Atlanta and the Atlanta are starting to dig deep. Um, each centre contest is going to be critical. Simon Pedler played in plenty of these grand finals, now umpiring in primary. I'm sure you would have had to stand him a couple of times in your oh, day. Great tackle by Mitch Lowry, free kick for holding the ball. I think incorrect disposal was the right term. He'll be looking to move it quickly into Tumby's forward lines. Lowry goes long there. Right, Collins just dropped back. And probably unlucky not to get a free kick there. It's going to sound funny, Brody Higgins <laughs> over the shoulder of Conlon, but that's how that's how I read it. Well, I think he was on his knees and he just reached his head there, Primey, so that's a good call. Umpire Harrowfield throwing the ball up, true centre half forward position here. Conlon and Hartwig, and he's got him high with a, with a loose hand. Very unlucky. That's a bit stiff. <laughs> Hartwig goes in short there, looking for Miller. Good spoiler there by Jay Nagars. Just goes long down the line. Tummy Bay set up well here, but ball trick was out over the top. Stephen Gretton pops onto his left, looking for his brother Matt. Oh, good hand, just spoiled well over the top by Tommy Kelly. Oh, Ox Calderwood. On the ball again, Oxley. Yep. Oh, no. A bit slow here. Oh, she's on here in the forward, left forward flank. Let him know about it. Matty Cretton in here. 50 metres out. He's going to have to look for a target. It's going to be a big kick if, if, if he kicks it from here. Cretton goes bang to the top of the square. 
Papoose down here for you, Nigel Lana. Tommy Bay with numbers at the back there. Tom Kelly sees it through. A couple of times Ox has been uh, caught here early, Promi. I, I think it's a change of pace from B grade to A grade, and I think this game's got a little bit more pace than the uh, average A grade game as well. Yolanda will put on a, a pretty tight zone here. Here's Nigel, Nigel Lana, one goal, two, eight, trailing Tummy Bay, three straight kicks as Nigel Lana look to score again here through Watson. Watson goes into the pocket there, I oh, just shrugs him. Matt Crittenden has a shot at goal, does he? No, he's found someone there in the pocket. Is that car? It is car. Kick one from here not that long ago, Primey. He's kicked the only goal, he's a bit further out, I think he's, he, he will have a fair chance from here. Is he going to do? go on the left or give us a bit of a banana? Oh. What would you do, Primey? You kick um, plenty of these. I, I reckon I'd go a banana because my left is only for balance. Yeah. <laughs> You've gone the banana. He's gone it. And misses to the right-hand side. Nigel Anna, missing a few opportunities here. One goal, three, nine, trailing Tummy Bay. Three straight kicks. Nearly 18 minutes gone here in the first quarter. Walker to bring it back in. Going to Calderwood. Just, just, just missed there by Jack Gretton. Nigel Anna looked to go back inside. The wind got a hold of that one, just Thomas wasn't Allen all over the place. It, but he followed up well. The tackle on. A couple of quick handballs and fumbles, and Thomas Allen's got it back. Eagles are unusually fumbly to early, or early to start this game. Compared to the second semi final, I don't think Tummy Bay touched the ball until about the second quarter primary. It's a bit of a different story today. Well, just the pressure levels from both sides are, are extremely high, and um, when your pressure's on, you're always always second guessing yourself. So, the ball up again here at centre half forward for Yolanda. Spoggy Crittman takes it, and it's roved down there by Calderwood, who's playing in the middle for Tummy Bay. Wouldn't have thought that. Well rove there by Higgins again. He's uh, getting a few of those high free kicks from him. He, Higgins through to Gar with a floating ball into the forward line to the twin McDonald's. Laurie comes through on the left coming out. Here's Jack Reddy. Yes. It's Tumby, Tumby Bay galore here. They can rattle it off. Gets back there to Joey Walker here on the wing. Falls over his own feet. He's got pressure coming towards him. Finds Hartwick there short. That's a strong mark there by Hartwick at centre half forward. Go, go through to Piff, McLeod, going long, McDonald, Tom McDonald, runs in an open goal and puts on another one for Tumby. Tell you what, Tumby Bay have come to play here today, Eagles under pressure early, is the Blues four goals straight 24, leading the Eagles one goal to eight here at the 21 minute mark of the first quarter. Quick well Tumby's pressure around the ball and, and they're their willingness to get to the packs is probably the difference at the moment. Um, it'd be the first time I've probably beaten Yolanda in that area for the year, and um, Yolanda needs to just, just settle and uh, lift their game just slightly, I think, to, to stay in this. I think Yolanda probably had more of the bowl, but when the Blues get it, they seem to be a lot more dangerous with it, don't they? They're moving, trying to move the ball quick into their forward lines. Miller for Sumner in the middle, a little bit of shimmy, and he's gone forward again. There's a fight there between Laurie and Higgins is on it. I reckon there'll be a ball up just inside 50 for Tumby here. So again, I think Hart will take the ruck for Tumby. Well, Miller it is in the end. Laura Norton. A couple of very handy players Miller there. Miller onto his left. Saps around the body. He's rushed through for A.B. Hines. Jay Nagard's first behind of the day for Tumby Bay. Aaron Laurie's going to take the kick out here for United Delano. He's got a big job on the uh, the two twin towers up front. A lot of movement at the moment for you, Lana. Oh, very stagnant, isn't it? Going long. Norton and James. Oh, really? Oh, close mark. Gary comes through. Lose it. Mac Maxwell goes out wide here looking for Breed. Breed just taps it right in front of Xavier Watson. Not sure if that was men or not. Doesn't matter. Watson finds Casey Carr, that, as they've done all, the, all through since mini -cults. Goes long there looking for Matt Crittenden. Good pressure there by Tommy Kelly. Wearing him like an absolute glove here early today. Ball gets out there. Finding Bo Sampson. That's a little check side. Comes inside, finding Spoggy Crittenden. Oh, Maxfield misses what he probably should have actually got there. Has he even kicked a point? I, yep. think, I think it did most scrape in for a point. Just threw for a point. A really good opportunity there for Yolanda. Just the pressure going forward. And, um, 
I just made that little bit more polish on that finish. Yeah. Not often you say you learn to look under pressure, but definitely today, pressure's on. Tommy Bay have come to play as Michael Curtis uh, runs past there as a runner. Ezra Foster's going to bring this one in. Been to the swing man this year for the Blues, hasn't he, Ezra? Played up forward, played back when needed. Yeah, he started, I think, started here at full forward. Um, I think he's more comfortable in the back lines. Yeah. Uh, finds Budgie there in the back pocket. He's going along the wing, looking for Miller. Comes to ground. Here comes Sumner again. He's out. He's... Oh, great intercept by Laurie. Didn't know what was coming the other way there to Aaron Laurie. Didn't bother him one bit. Onto that trusty left into the midfield. You only got space here for a change. Exy Watson will turn around on his left. Don't usually waste many possessions there. Finds Adam Manane. Mitch Jolly at his feet. Goes out, outside there in front of Conlon. Conlon and Franks in a leg speed battle. No, he's going to win that one. As the ball goes out of bounds there on Yolanda's forward flank. Just every every kick, uh, every possession on the field at the moment is under pressure for both sides. So Brooks go up at it. Slips out the back to Yolanda. Uh, Watson's going forward. Little chip. Nice boggy great net. Spotty, he's spilt it. I thought he had that one. Going to be a ball up here, it looks like. 45 degree angle, about 45 out. Just uh, once again, once the ball hits the ground, there are a number of players around it for each side. So James up again. It's uh, Gretman. Miller just jams it onto the boot. The cloud goes up to the mark. Handles out here to Manane. Jed Manane goes inside. Oh, not, umpire's not called, not 15. Bit stiff there, I reckon, Primey. Yeah. Yeah, I won't be buying uh, land off that block. <laughs> Ball up again, half forward for Yolanda. Conlon and James. Ty gets in his hands and it's another ball up. Yolanda also without the great Flinders male medalist for this year, Braden Martin, who uh, unfortunately broke his thumb. I think it was the last minor round game of the year. He's a runner today. Yep, he's a runner today. So hopefully uh, he's bring, he'll be hoping that he can bring home a medal. Some that gets it forward. Laurie brings it to ground. Higgins again at that front square spot. Another ball up right in the guts. And by Harrowfield throws the ball up. Conlon and James at it again. Watson. Threatening. They haven't got to each other. Gary wins that one on the ground. Snaps around the body. Good luck trying to catch that one. Nice little shepherd yeah. off, the, off the ball there by Franks. Didn't do enough to uh, give away a free kick, but just blocked his run. Yeah, and Paul with the bar. Caldwell goes long down the line here, looking James, for James. McDonald. Good spoil, up the ground. Oh. Padman Norton on the boat. Walker, strong spoil. The Atlanta got the numbers there on the ground. Maxfield, he's dodged one. Players and bodies just going everywhere here. Harrowfield's pulled out a free kick. Kelly's just got in a little bit high there. Just lifts him up by the back of the Guernsey. Not sure he had a free kick. <laughs> Matt Crittenden here. He'd like to be kicking himself. Looking out wide. Looking for his brother, I think, there in forward pocket. Yep. Oh, no. Not quite paid. Good pressure there again by Tommy Bay. They've got numbers here if they can get out. Mitch Laurie. Thomas Allen. Allen started well here for the Blues. Loved his leg speed early. Goes inside, but that's not, not his best work. Lanner are open if they can get it out here. And that's the sign for the first quarter. So I reckon end of quarter time, you're lying, you Lanner, one goal, four. What? I've got uh, one goal. The scoreboard says one goal, three to Tummy Bay. Four goal, one. Yeah. But the scoreboard is wrong a few times throughout the uh, throughout the B grade, so we might have to trust ourselves. Well, I'm going with one goal for and we'll see how it pans out at the end of the day. Yeah, no, sounds good. Now, Tummy Bay, great pressure to start the game. To uh, The Eagles definitely know they're in a grand final now, don't they? Oh, they do. And um, look, when you're undefeated, it, you come in and you, whether you think it's going to happen, they've got the experience of being in here, but Tumby knew they had to bring their A game, and uh, so far they have. So immense pressure for all the bikes carrying the ball, and um, we'll see how long it keeps going into the second, second quarter moment. Who do you reckon was the, uh, the better players in the first quarter there, Primey? Um, it, it, it's pretty... For Tumby Bay, anyway. For Tumby Bay. 
I look, I think Joey Walker cross half back. Yeah. Um, he just kept mopping the ball up. Uh, Thomas Allen did some good things on the wing. Piff, um, I thought it was good. Oh, Piff did it, like pace out of the middle. Like um, they haven't had too many passengers at this stage, so everyone's, everyone's doing their part and playing their role. So. Um, that's all, all we can ask. Yep, I think the Eagles really need to get their hands on it a little bit more and uh, just calm down a bit of their delivery, uh, get a bit more movement across the ground. But Mock Cretton, I thought he was easily um, United Atlanta's best player throughout the first quarter. I think he had six or seven possessions in the first ten minutes of the game. So they're going to need a few more players to, uh, to be brought into the game if they're uh, going to take a lead into halftime. Tummy Bay have jumped them a little bit. Yes, uh, it'll be interesting to see where they go. Uh, there's been too many changes coming at the start of the second quarter. James is back in the middle for Tommy. James and Conlon, here they go again. James wins the knock. Uh, the crowd gets a kick with a smother that's going forward for Yolanda. But uh, you know, it could be a bit of a scramble. It's flipped out. And there's just a scramble here at the moment. The ball is on the ground and there's just players coming in from everywhere and it will be a ball up. You'd expect that for the first five minutes after a break. Just stoppage after stoppage until the game starts to open up a little bit. It's James Conlon. and Conlon go at it again there. Down the field there. Oh, not a lot in that. Lana will take that. Who's going to have it here? Oregon Brady, he's got this up. It's about 50 out. Looks to go in short there. Looking for Brady. Oh, and then over Brady. the shoulder. It's got to be, yeah. That left arm. Just resting on his shoulder. Yeah, Matt Creddy averaging eight goals a game throughout the season, Primey. That's uh, nearly Chris Prime territory. Uh, that's in front of that, so yeah, they, um, <laughs> they are very dangerous for Matt Creddy comes in, should kick this. He likes it. Eagles on the board here early in the second quarter. It's the start they needed. Um, they needed to move forward and uh, get a goal quick and just start to assert the, their, uh, their presence. So. Yeah. Tummy will look to respond. One minute gone here in the second quarter. It's United Yolanda, two goal forward, trailing Tummy Bay, four goals one here at Kaku Oval, which I must say, it's looking absolutely phenomenal, Primey. That is, um, I reckon it's probably the best I've seen in the Oval for yeah. the 15 or 16 years I've been coming out here. Empire throws the ball up here. Conlon and James jump into each other. Tap one there by Conlon. Well shark there by Xavier Watson. Z Xavier Watson goes onto his left, looking out there. Oh, is that Bo Sampson there? So. Good work here by Yolanda, out there to Watson. Great pressure there by Ezra Foster from behind, wraps him up as well. well up. He's, done, he's done a good job on Spoggy Creddy so far, Ezra. Uh, he's, that is, that's his role and um, I think he'll stick to it and as he gets crazy a comp, he might see a little bit of run and charge down forward. Oh, that probably should have been a sling tackle there, I reckon. Possibly too high and maybe a yes, Jeez. sling tackle. That was, uh, yep. They've called it here in the middle. Bruiser's called it. Bruiser and Nigel James, definitely no stranger to each other over the years. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> that was definitely there, though, I reckon. Spoggy Creddy, going to have to kick this from touch over 50 metres. As Matt Creddy just descends down there now. In comes Spoggy Creddy. It's going to be his best work if he kicks it. Gets close to James on the mark. Looks like it's fading left and it's going to go out of bounds on the fall. I thought Walker's going to take it in for Tumby Bay. Joe Walker will bring this in and Tumby looked to work it out of their back lines. So there's not a lot of movement for Tumby as the loss from the lane. Yeah. That short there's a foster. He's going to take him on here. Better be careful. Good pick up there by the big fella. On the hands just behind Sumner. Which is unfortunate to turn over and Yolanda brings it back out. Sumner's direct opponent there in Dane Habner. Nice little chip kick there finding Michael Cretton out to Matty Dyer. Matty Dyer looks in and oh backing back with Pajaya. Yep, didn't didn't have it on it, I think. Bo Sampson there for United Yolanda. Just, it's that little bit of pressure, that perceived pressure where you think they've got the ball and you have to get that tackle on immediately. Um, yeah, just a couple of free kicks going to the lab. They are up. there. Yeah, um, I think uh, all that cheering is the uh, the Waybacks boys who have come down. Bo Sampson, a former Wayback boy. Nah, nah, they brought a bus down back. and uh, getting around. I think they've called themselves the Braden Martin and, the Z and Xavier Watson fan club. 
Yeah, so look to be enjoying themselves. <laughs> I think the bar will be copping a hiding. In comes Bo Sampson. Tell you what, doesn't look that good off the boot. And it's faded to the left-hand side. Absolute floater that was by Bo Sampson. That makes it two goals, five for United Atlanta. Trailing Tummy Bay, four goal one. Miller brings it in. Sides oh. Laurie. The ones with tape have Gator at him. Back to Miller. Love that run and carry there by Miller, finding the Jaya on the right back flank. Looks like Hartwig and finds him just forward a centre wing for Tumby. Looking, moving quickly, looking for a target inside 50. Goes short, finds scale. Instead looking for a target here. Well Good done. fist there by Dane Hadner. Comes across Braden Porter with his first look. Well it's a little fumble and he's wrapped up. Great work there by Dane. Dane Abner definitely fighting out of his weight category there. <laughs> Good score to start with and follow it up well. Right, just forward a set to go for Tumby. Just fisted out there by Maxfield, having to take the ruck. Looks like uh, the Atlanta big man behind the ball. Norton and Conlon fight this one. And there's a free kick here there for someone. They're not pointing a direction. Yeah, we're going to work that out soon when the umpire does. No, they've uh, given it there to Jack McDonald. Holding on. Holding his arm. Holding on. Excellent. That was um, one of those forward line raffles. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what are his chances here, Prime? Well, he's, he's been kicking the right. He, he could have been to the Craig Curtis school of kicking it. It could be a helicopter that flies straight through the middle. Don't think he has by the looks of that. Uh, that is a Michael Curtis kick. <laughs> and Jack McDonald kicks his second. Straight through the middle there. Never in doubt, Primey. Uh, no, it wasn't. Um, and it was poor form of me to throw the Tumby coach under the bus. But um, the McDonald boys are a big targets up there for Tumby. And uh, obviously just a little bit of worry um, crept in and, and just a grab of the Gansey. So um, good finish. And that brings it almost back to where we were at quarter time. Yeah. The same margin. So. Conlon and James are going to jump into each other again. They're both going to be pretty sore at the end of this one. Tap one down there by no one. Good pick up there by Watson. Gets it out to Manane. Manane comes out wide here looking for Michael Crittenden. Bit of hanging on going on by both players there, I think. Okay, right, right on him. Joey Walker's in again, and that, that ball is going absolutely no way. Joey Walker, the master of the, uh, the accidental, you know, little elbow or, or fist too, isn't he? Sign, no, of, he's, sign of a good backman. There's nothing wrong with being clumsy. <laughs> Conlon wins that down. That's going to be holding the ball there. Great ball skills. Jaden Agar's going back with it. Look out if Latrell Summer here gets goal side, he'll be off. He's just got a tackle on. It's just looked out. Gale comes through. Ricky Skinner to handballs over the top there, trying to find the name. Ball's just on the ground here. Players diving in. It looks surely there's going to be a ball up here. Now, Yolanda just get it out. Now it'll be a ball up. The umpires are letting it go, but when, when they're <laughs> 15 players around, it's not going far. <laughs> Boy, Frank throws the ball up. On them, dump into each other. I don't think either of them had eyes for the ball. Sumner, Sumner forward. Oh, McDonald. Yeah. That'd be Tom McDonald. There's a big mark down there. Am I seeing double, or are both of these guys uh, <laughs> playing pretty good game from it? Uh, they are both pretty handy. They've just, this year, they've just started to clunk marks. Yeah. Um, uh, that 20, 21 years of age are just starting to grow into their body and starting to work out where you are because. Yeah. And he comes now. Looks right off the throat, that one. It's true, that would be Tom's second goal as well. All right. McDonald combining for four goals here. And that will bring the score to two goal five to Yolanda uh, with Tumby leading with six goal one. Tumby Bay not missing. We've seen it all through the AFL final series. Bad kicking of. Has uh, cost teams games. We saw it in the B grade today with United Jelana with more scoring shots as well. And Tumby Bay taking, I think they're, they're nearly scoring every single forward uh, or inside 50. Uh, yeah, they look, when they get inside forward, they're holding it there and uh, that's what they have to do. And we're going in here against Conlon again, both jump into each other. I think the early jumps just putting pressure on the other ruckman. Thomas Allen there out to Kai Miller. Miller. Miller can kick this, he can keep going. He'll go into his left. Look to see if he likes it. It's not going to make the distance there. Who's at the ground? Higgins. Higgins. Oh, he's missed it to the left-hand side, I think. 
That's the end. Playing his role in, in under the, the big forward. So, Laurie looking to bring it back in for you later. Hey, Eagles need a bit of a rocket here. Yeah. Laurie looks out there for Watson. Good work there by Allen. Picks the ball up. It's going to be thrown up there, surely. Tackled straight away. There's no, there are no easy kicks for either side at the moment. Uh, maybe accept that one for a free kick for a hold, I think, for the right one. Don't think the, uh, the ladder backs agree with that call, but Jack and I will bring it back into forward line. Stone Long looking for Tom. And an uncontested mark there to Jackson Norton down there. Jackson Norton, grand final specialist he is. Well, that's a dangerous oh. kick. Yeah, that's that's, got, that's got to be a free kick there. Yeah. Tom's Adams gone for this ball, but actually got nowhere near the ball. Yeah, um, out there to snag Watson. Now, Aaron Watson here. 35 out from Tommy Bay's goal. Just not, this, nothing really on offer at this stage. Tommy Bay defending well, getting their players behind the ball there. It's going to be a mark to Breed, it looks like. Rob Breed sells a bit of candy, goes inside, looking for Mitch Jolly. That's good. that's another free. And play on. Xavier Watson plays on, looking for Spoggy Critton here. Oh, well oh, done there by Ezra Foster. Ezra Foster, just strong for a for a young lad, only 17 years of age, and uh, he'll be looking to take this one down the line, looking for something. He's gone. Are we going to go long to Sumner? Sumner's going for the hang. Oh, to be right over the top here to McDonald. Launches it from behind. Ball hits the ground. Wrapped up there straight away. Umpire says, I'll have it. I reckon the umpires will get fairly tired here. I think every time the ball hits the ground, there's a ball up. There's yeah. no, it's just in free flow at the moment. Exactly what Tommy Bay would have wanted before the game too. Ball gets out here to Xavier Watson. He'll look, try to find someone on his left. He does find Stephen Cretton in here. He'll go inside 50 straight away, looking for his brother, Matt. Is he going to get it in time? No, out of bounds on the fall. It's called. I think Tom Kelly would have been happy even if he marked that there. Yeah. So you only, as a forward, if you mark him out there, it's going to be hard work. Yeah, absolutely. Tommy Bay are on for a switch if they decide to do it here. Good McDonald. Where, where's the next hit? That's the problem. That's, that's the worst one. The Lanner have cut this off well. McDonald goes out wide here, right in front of us. Looking for Franks. Dyer dropped what he probably should have taken. Oh, the trick is out of bounds. Just about right on the forward 50 here for United Atlanta. Ball gets thrown in. Tap one down there by Cretton. Casey Carr gets a handball out there to Mitch Laurie. Mitch Laurie with an uncharacteristic drop punt. Mitch Jolly. Good work there. Kersey kicked it. No, it just fades away to the left with Snag Watson there. United Atlanta always under pressure there every time they get the ball. Joe Walker taking a kick out here for Tommy Bay. Uh, they're looking long. Once again, there's no movement. Oh, Tom, Tom Kelly just stopped him from running there. That was very silly there by Tom Kelly. Very, very silly by Tom Kelly. Didn't see it. There's a, there's a 25 obviously as well. And, yeah. Um, this will be a certain goal. Stopped him from charging in at Joe and uh, grabbed him and gave him a bit, of a bit of a knock to the back of the head there. When you have the ball, you can't afford to be doing that inside your 50. Matt, Matt Cretton comes in, gets the second for the day. Exactly what the Eagles needed, and he gets into him, lets Tommy Kelly know about it. Then he goes and does that, and he's got to go straight back and stand him. <laughs> you wouldn't have done that, would you, Primey? It is Nigel Anna, three goal six, trailing Tommy Bay, six goal three. Even amount of scoring shots, but Tommy Bay just slightly more accurate at this stage of proceedings. Yeah, and once again, that, that is the difference. Tommy are making most of their opportunities. They, they can't afford to be giving goals away. The silly free kicks. We've got it up again. Conlon, probably the sports. <laughs> even a split there. <laughs> Fumble. High oh, free kick going to the ladder again. <laughs> Jack, Jack Cretton, who slips over his own feet. No, Goes out wide here looking for Michael Cretton. Michael Crittenden hands off to Dane oh, Hagner. Jeez, he's taken on three. It's a dangerous handball. Oh, that's nearly holding the ball there. Lockie Gale gets it. <laughs> Looks like Mitch Laurie might have hurt himself yeah, out I, there. I, I, he's I, not good. No, he's underneath. Yeah, he's not oh, good at all. He has had a... Penny knows. Yeah, 
he has done one before. And uh, I think he. Uh, Here goes Bryce Breed trying to launch. Right, just fades away to the left hand side. This is not what you want to see for Tumby Bay. Inspirational leader and just all around good bloke, honestly. Oh, he is, and uh, as good as on his fate, well, hopefully it's just a bit of a, a knock to it. So, this is an interesting call because. They haven't been a stretcher called. Dave, I think that's been brought in this year. Um, if the ball's heading that way, well, it's been called all year, I know it has. If the ball's heading that way, whether it's A grade or B grade, then they call it off. If, if there's a player on the ground or a player injured, they call it off even if it's uh, not a stretcher. Um, just by the way, he's walking in the way that they go. So, Jack off! I haven't got uh, any medical background, but um, I'm feeling it's a mate. Someone who's done a couple as well, kind of. He, uh, the way he's walking seems like it. So let's hope they can uh, go get a little miraculous jab or a bit of that. What's that magic spray? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> that doesn't fix injuries like this, though, does it? Uh, and, and Rich isn't one to to, uh, to lie down. Um, oh no. And just just the look on his face as he's coming off. He knows. Uh, so. That will, cause, that, will, that will cause a little bit of a reshuffle through the Tumby midfield. And uh, just ask a couple of other guys to do a little bit extra. Yeah. It's game on here though in the second quarter. And we'll that last guy in our game. And that's disappointing for you, Lana. After all that time, they haven't played out by himself and finds the day out there. The zone's got to be, everyone's got to be switched on the zone, otherwise it falls apart. The ball punch out there. We're going to be throwing a half forward for you, Lana. Nice big throw in there. Yolanda out out the back here. Manane handballs inside there to Watson. Watson on his left. Good fist there from behind by Bajaya. Rose well there by Jed Manane. Casey Carr's got space inside 50. Kicks into the man on the mark. Gets his own ball. Tell you what, if he's kicked that, what a goal by Casey Carr. That's Casey's second, but yeah, lots of ball spoiled. We really gave him the comments. And it's that that that's just got a magnificent goal by an absolute class footballer. It's great, um, it's great to see Casey Carr back playing football as well after coming back from the knee injury himself. And everyone knows, uh, very similar to Mitch Laurie, class football player, class person as well. Yeah, look at him once again. He, he's on his class, not just today, not just this year, but not only for the last 10. Yeah. Back in the middle. McDonald and Conlon to go up against each other here. Tap one down there by Conlon. Conlon gets a handball there for Jed Manane. Shark there by Colin Miller, who looked to go on his left, but fumbles it. Jed Manane picks it up very well, very clean. Out to Maxfield. Maxfield goes in there looking for Matt Crittman. Balls hit the ground here. He's got an open goal square if he can kick it. It's gone straight through. Great work there by the Eagles. It is. There's just been a lift. The Eagles have lifted. And Tumby has just flattened a little bit with that injury to Mitch Lowry and a couple of changes. Um, so I reckon that, that will bring it to five goals, seven to six goals, two, I would think. Six goals, five, seven to six, three. Right. Tumby Bay still oh, leading by two, two points, points here. But the game is definitely on. Absolutely. James and Connor in the middle now. James wins the knot, takes it himself and gets the kick forward. He's done well there as Watson. On the right foot. We all want to sort out some bank accounts. Bunch of tracks. Just needs to be up clearly now. Nice little bump there by Cretman. Swinging hard at the ball. Watson to Cretman. Good kick there to Braid. Braid sliding in. Couldn't take it. Oh, Gary's missed his target. Here comes Stephen Cretman looking for his, his brother Matt. Yeah, great movement. For you blink and Matt Cretman's lining up for his fourth goal. So, once again, like. The ladder have just lifted that notch and with that the cleanness and tummy's pressure's just got just marginally but it's all that all it needs. The ladder have done this all year. You think you have them for one minute, you blink and then suddenly you're behind again. In comes Matt Cretman. Tell you what, it looks good off the boot. He loves it! Double fist in the air. That puts United Lanner back in front. About 15 minutes, 15 minutes gone here in the second quarter. 
four goals from that Crittenden in the first half. Yeah, and they've kicked five this quarter and just, just lifted. And now Tumbi are going to have to dig deep and, uh, and find that little bit more. I think, I think the midfield's where it's changed. The ladder have picked up in the midfield. And when you've got the midfielders running through the middle, it's hard for the Tumbi backman to, to stop it. So the pressure's got a Tumbi midfield has to lift to, to bring it back into it. First quarter, United, United Atlanta looked a bit fumbly. This quarter, it's Tumbi Bay who's looking a little bit fumbly. Ball down, ball up, and uh, the crowd at the bottom of the pack is another ball up, Conlon and James at it again. Conlon jumps early, James battling on the ground, it's just flipped out. To, Max, to Maxfield there. And who's got the pun? McDonald again. Out to McLeod, Chuck there by Mitch, Jolly, umpire um, says, I'll have it. Just start from centre half forward for you, Nigel Anna. Well, it's running up here. James and Conlon go at it again. Tap one down there by James. Oh, Dyer just grabbed by the back of the Guernsey. Gale gets it onto his boot, going inside Tumpy's forward 50 here. Oh, he comes Ricky Skinner, just gets a handball away there, Promi. Yeah, he was unlucky. He slipped and possibly got one high, but once again, lots of balls on the ground. There'll be another ball up here at 50 for Tumpy. Oh. So James and Conlon at it again. Take forward, Jago cross, and they've gone through and just got tackled again, so another ball up. Just pops up in that 50 every now and then, Jago, doesn't he? He does, look. James forward, cross, going, kicks forward, and it's gone out of bounds. He can throw it, I think it'll be Laurie to kick it in. There you go, Drain. Played B grade last week, kicked three goals in the prelim final for Nigel Lane in the B grade. They could have, uh, would have loved to have him up forward there today. Kicks it out wide now. Good contest there by Ezra Foster. Cheryl Sumner just runs into a bunch of Nigel Lane players and holding the ball. Can't afford him any space whatsoever. Well, that's a dangerous kick inside. Oh, Lockie Gale, handy recruit coming over from me United at the start of this year. Looking for Hartwick. That bounces. It's gone everywhere. Norton brings it out to Yelena. Oh, good pressure there by Breed at the ground. Tony yeah, Bay. Takes a pump back forward. Oh, good fly there by McDonald. It's just a, once again, a scramble on the ground. Higgins. Hold it in, or there'll be a ball up there. About 40 out from Tumby's goal. A little bit like a mini, mini Celts game at times, Primey. There's that many players around the ball. That is a uh, James tap, that long forward. Higgins runs onto it. Skinner's just wearing him like a glove this quarter. Ricky Skinner goes back inside there looking for Watson. Watson will look to get this one back and put it onto the left. Tries to don't argue, bit of Dusty Martin action. Finds Bo Sampson here in the centre of the ground for Nigel Lana. Bo Sampson looking for a bit of a switch. That's another dangerous yes. kick. Here goes Hadner though, he's got some speed. This kid takes it on, he's going to have to get rid of it. He's getting chased. Just gets a handball away. No, oh. he doesn't. Oh, yeah. that was that, a bit stiff, was, I thought. That was tough. That was tough. A great chase by McLeod. I um, yeah. he got his hands away. But... Never gave up, though, McLeod. It goes in, finds Jagger Cross here on the half forward flank for Tummy Bay. Sells a little bit of candy. Kicks inside 50. Who's there for Tummy Bay? Uh, no one. <laughs> <laughs> it's come to the ground and uh, a ball up. 20 out straight in front for Tumby. Jack McDonald to go up. It is very hard to see who's got the ball at any stage down there. Once again, there's some mini cops there. Half forward. McDonald up, wins it. Nigel Anna just getting on top of those clearances as Maxfield brings it out to the wing here. Tummy Bay should intercept this two on one. Ball hits the ground. Oh, Good job there Gary. by Gary. Kept, kept it moving forward. Here's Mitch Jolly there in the back line. Just pushes it under his boot. Doesn't go very far. Gary again kicks it forward for Tumpy. Little Pushes this time. Kyle Miller up forward Kyle now. Miller and bounced over his head. I reckon he might be just a touch on it for a ball up. Ball inside. Throw inside. But all my ball's confused. <laughs> Throwing 
great game of football so far today. Definitely feels like a grand final. Gale around the back. Norton, Norton picks up. It's like catching this one. I reckon Norton Jones under this. Spoil. Sumner. Bit of space. Ezra Foster. He's just wobbled that forward. Hoping. It's Hartwig. You are kidding. That's one of the best goals that I've ever seen from him. That was unbelievable. That wasn't even a check side. He's dead set. Just floated that through from the boundary line. About 25 metres out, right on the boundary line. Well done, Kyle Miller. Nothing else you can say. It's, uh, yep, it's left me speechless. <laughs> yeah, well. That doesn't happen often. No, that will put Tumby back in front, I, I believe. Uh, and uh, look, and Tumby not playing going forward, but look, they just have to keep fighting. It's one of those things. You'd love to have two of Kyle Miller, one, or oh, three. <laughs> one in the centre, one behind, one behind the ball, and uh, one up forward. You can change a game in a heartbeat. There's only a couple of points in this game, and once again, every opportunity you get, you've got to take. Ball up again. Conlon and James at it. Conlon wins that one. Maxfield again. Maxfield. Good body work oh, there by Foster. Played a good game so far today on Scoggy Gretnan. And he's like kicked the ball into the forward lines just before down the half forward, so. Good work rate by the young fella. Foster going wide here. Good kick, plenty of purchase on it. Uh, we're just inside the boundary line. It's a good strong mark. Big centre half forward, Harvey. Second year at the club, is it from? It is his second year. And he goes for short and finds Miller. Wings up, swings on to the left. Looking for McDonald. One against four. Who's on the ground? Oh, the great, pick up, great pick up. On Tell the you left. what, if he's kicked that, wow. Someone yes. signed this bloke to an AFL side, seriously. He, uh, Picking he, that up at full speed, on to the left. Hey, he's not the third left, and, and comes up with his second. He has kicked two amazing goals, so. Tommy of Dart, once again, Arts have lifted a little bit in the last five minutes, and, uh, you know, put himself back in front, so. Cloud did that a couple of times last week just as Locke started to get a run on in the prelim final. Cloud would just burst from, burst from a stoppage or pick a ball up at full pace and all of a sudden it's a goal. He's a fantastic player here for the Blues. So Colin wins that one. That's your one! You're allowed to fight! You're allowed to have less! You're allowed to fight! He was on the field! Oh, You're allowed to fight! That absolutely cost you, Lana, then. They were out. So we're setting that back up. It's one of the most frustrating rules in football. I wish I had it when I played. Uh, James is trying to again. Carr is going in the middle, just a beautiful little flick out. Mitch Laurie. Ah, oh, sorry, Mitch Jolly. Finds Teddy out. Scotty Cretton, he'll look for his brother here. Uh, tell you what, we're going to get score. Gary's going to have to push here. It's three. That boundary line's going to beat them both there. Yolanda has just moved the ball a bit, a bit better into their forward lines in this quarter. No ruck with there at all. <laughs> no one goes up. Ball just sails over the head. No one hits the ground. No one's decided to pick it up either. The clown's got to kick out. Foot race is on here. Hartwig to be first to it. I agree my God whether he's gone into the ruck to give James a bit of a spell. That's a big kick there. Oh, just bounces off his chest, but he takes it again on the second grab. Oh, well Hartwig's done. There. Adam Manane here, finds Maxfield here on the right forward flank for Nigelana. Tommy Bay set up well, you've got Ox with behind the ball, they're going to have to go in short. Well oh, ran there by Tommy Bay. Tommy Pretty poor kick going inside 50 there for the Eagles. Yes, yeah, they've had a clear target. <laughs> Kelly's fair with Dara. They've got 50 joins the boundary. And half back for Tommy. He's gone down the line. Lord of James had a fair set of hands in the back there. Norton just mopping up behind the play. He is found. Not the best person that you want. You want to turn the ball over to. No, he's gone. He's gone long. Jeez. And he's found uh, Tom McDonald. That's that's gone from the corner of the of the square back here, inside 50, right onto the chest of McDonald. Is there anything this bloke can't do? 
Oh, big kick here for McDonald. It's half the siren. Currently, it's Tummy Bay, 8 goal 3, leading United Lana, 6 goal 7. Chance to make it 9 goal 3 here. It's a very important kick, this. Momentum going in half time is a big thing. Uh, You'll be able to hear it. He likes it, the Tommy boys like it. It is uh, Tom McDonald's third goal. And that is good response from Tumby after after your ladder hit the front halfway through that quarter. A lot of teams have laid down, but Tumby fought back and uh, look at really put their nose in front of take 16 points for leading to half time. Yeah, it's Tumby Bay, nine goal three, leading United Lanner, six goal seven here at half time. Primey, better players for you so far in this game. Oh, it's hard to go past the crowd, but uh, a couple of goals, it just does great things when he gets the ball in his head. But once again, not, there's not too many guys that are, that are um, aren't doing their role. Ezra Foster across half back's doing a good job, so the boys are doing their good. Yeah, absolutely. Matt Creedy. Four goals for United you know, Jelana. Casey Carr as well. Anytime he's got a touch, has made it count. Um, Michael Crittenden as well. But United you know, Jelana, they really need to, uh, I can reach France, probably give them a, a bit of a serve at half time and come out firing afterwards. Yeah, I think so. Really, that, that uh, quarter was in two halves. Jelana dominated the, the set of clearances in the first half and then Tumby picked that back up. Um, and probably that's where the game from here on in is going to be won. The set of clearances uh, is going to be pretty good. Yeah, great game of footy so far. We'll be back right after this. After these words from our sponsors. <laughs> Players have come back from their half-time huddles and, geez, Primey, we have a game on our hands, don't we? Look, we do, and uh, it's what we hope for on these days. Um, you know, we'd like to say we don't care who wins, but <laughs> we generally do. I don't. I'd say <laughs> yeah. I don't. I could be a little bit biased in my call, but um, what you want to see is a, a real crack of a game, and that's what we've got. So the second half is, is uh, the game is open for both sides, so um, the first five minutes here, I reckon, will be crucial. Yeah, it's going to be on early. Wouldn't expect to go on the first couple of minutes. It's going to be stoppage after stoppage here. Trying to shoo a few uh, young Colts premiers from this morning from Tummy Bay off the oval. Looks like it's going to be Conlon and James up against each other in the ruck. Oh yeah, fucking here we go. Tap one down there by James. Sharked well there, straight away by Calderwood. Intercepted by Matty Dyer. Looks inside, trying to find Stephen Cretton. And great fist from behind there again by Ezra Foster. Wearing him like a glove. Great tackle by Sumner there too, just to hold it up. Just that little intercept, so it looks like both sides have started pretty well on. Well, there's no, no one waiting around yet. Yeah, as we mentioned earlier, Mitch Laurie off with what looks like what looks like to be a serious knee injury as Habner picks it up at full speed on the wing for United for you know, Jelana. Norton, oh, was he caught high? No, umpire calls play on and it's going to throw the ball up in the centre of the oval here at Kaku. Breeze has picked up a little bit, going to the left-hand side and hopefully cool things down a little bit for everyone out there. It'd be nice. Um, James, I think, won that one. Ball's just swung around in the pack there. Breaks out. Oh, a little bit high there. Oh, and another oh. high one. Caldwell just being a little bit aggressive there. <laughs> That's not like Ox, is it? And, and Watson comes up with a free kick. <laughs> Snag Watson, looking to go inside 50 here. It is a it great out. pass. That's a great kick. Finding Matt Creddy here. About 35 metres out. Slight angle here. Matt Creddy lighting up for his fifth of the day. Should be the perfect start. Exactly what the Eagles are looking for early. As a full back, you cannot do much about that kick coming in. So Tom Kelly stands the mark, be frustrated. In comes Matt Crittenden now. Loves a goal. You'll see his reaction straight away if he's kicked it. There we go. Two fist up in the air from Matt Crittenden. Nigel on a strike early here in the third quarter. Bring it back to a 10 point lead. Matt Crittenden's fifth for the day. Nothing Tom Kelly could do about that one. And that's that's what Yolanda needed. They needed that first one. That throws the pressure back on Tumby. So, um, yes, that's 7-7 uh, seven, seven to 9 goal 2. On the money here, Primey. As always, mate. Seven point lead here to Tumby Bay. As we've oh, seen... Can I change that to 11? Yep, you can change it. Sorry, okay. that's that's. Oh, no, sorry. No, I'm not. I am wrong. I 
I'm not, don't tell anyone that is. All right, that's all right. We can cut this audio out, can't we, Habs? All right, ball trickles out there to the forward flank. Good pick up there by Lockie Gale. Handball's back looking for Thomas Allen. Goes inside there. It's going to be intercepted there by Xavier Watson. Here we go, onto his left here. Sounded good off the boot. Looking for Casey Carr. At the back is Kyle Miller here. He'll clean this up. Handball's outside here. Looking for Hudson Franks. He can take the game on if he wants. Just kicks high. Straight down Norton's throat. Hartwick from behind though. Great fist out of bounds. Tell you what, a fist like that would even make Angela White nervous. Oh, look. We won't explain that to the young children. <laughs> Ball gets thrown in. Hartwick again. Fist from behind. Ball's on the ground. Or oh, clumsy there by Conlon. Ball will be thrown up here, about 60 metres out from Tumby Bay's goal. It'll be James and Conlon to take, take each other again. Conlon runs straight past, kicked forward by James, goes through Higgins, Norton, great tackle by Higgins. Uh, handball by Gale and that's gone out of bounds. Just great pressure by the, the Tumby small forwards. Not much of him but he tackles hard, doesn't he? He does. Uh, Conlon and McDonald in the ruck, big punch forward by McDonald. Takes him on. Oh, says, I'll have it. The crowd were calling for holding the ball, but the umpire kept a level head. Simon Pedler, calm in the back lines as always. Good tap down there from McDonald. Straight into the path of McLeod. Always dangerous around goals and stoppages here. Cretton. Could be a handball out of bounds. Could be an interesting call. Yeah, it was. Who's going to take it here? Sumner wants it. I'll be giving it to Sumner, Brodes. <laughs> uh, Brody Higgins in the deep in the forward pocket. Difficult, difficult kick from there. What are the odds? Give us the odds, Brian. Oh, I'll tell you what, you'll hear it from the crowd. He's not confident in it. Tom Banana. He's the right hand side. Gone narrow. That'll make it 9 3 to Tumby to 7 7. Michael Anna winning the scoring shots here, but behind on the scoreboard. Down the lead of Bryce Breed here. Oh, great Jazz, Joey Walker. Walker. Joe Walker and Wade Gary. The ball in just on half forward for Tumby again. James and Tom are at it. Oh, Calderwood there at full steam, which wasn't that quick. Why Pedler said, I'll throw it up here. 50 metre arc here for the Blues. Look for their midfielders to be dangerous around stoppage. Kyle Miller's just moved in here. Oh, he did that a couple of times last week. Down to Habner. Habner just belts it forward. Ball hits the ground. Who's on the deck here for United Jelana? Ball just trickles out there. Is that going to be too high? No, umpire says, I'll throw it up here on the wing for United Jelana. That's the unlucky, the umpire's view was a good tackle, our view was probably a little bit over the shoulder, so Jay, uh, Calderwood and Conley up to the right, and everyone piles in. I actually think the minis game was more open than this one. I think it definitely was, but I mean, what a game we had in the B grade early as well, coming down to a Ryan Belt floater from about 40 metres out. James and Conley at it again, oh. quick kick forward for Jaya. Good pressure there by Stephen Crittenden. Two on one and Bo Samson picks oh. it up. That's <laughs> a great a little banana. Here. That is a lovely kick here. Finding Matt Crittenden. Lining up for his sixth here today. Might be a bit of a tricky kick. Let's see how he goes with it. We don't reckon this one yet. It's GB, G. No, this is not. Matt Crittenden. You right. hear the crowd. Oh, misses to the right hand side. Goal on by Clawton, he's made a bit of, bit of ground there. <laughs> Kai Miller will take out the ball. Kicks out wide, looking forward at Lockie Gale. The ball hits a, hits a deck, and Yolanda are open here. Dane Haddon has a shot at goal. Looks right off the boot. Here come United, Yolanda. Take the seven goal, seven goal eight to nine goal three. Dane Haddon as well. Been a very handy pickup for the Eagles so far this year. Great, great spot too. Like, you know, the front square crumb come past the handball and, and a good finish under pressure. You got eight goals, eh? Yeah, eight goals. Did I call seven goals? Eight? 
Matt Creddy with five for the Eagles, Casey Carr with two, Dane Havner with one. For the Blues, we've got Grant McLeod with two, Jack McDonald two, Tom McDonald two, Brody Higgins one, and Kyle Miller one. As the ball goes into the United Atlanta 50 here again, Tommy uh, back on under pressure, but Miller calm under pressure as always, Primey. Out to McDonald, big break and kick. Looking out for Hartwig out here. Hartwig and Hunt, Franks. Oh, uh, that's a two on one there. Sumner, oh. hold the ball. We have a one point ball game at the moment. Great work there by Matty Dyer. Boy, oh, you've got to be careful with those big high throws. Yeah. You're not supposed to do that much anymore. Dyer's gone long into the pocket. Punch forward, Franks out the crumb. Oh, I can't see it's like 50. It's gone, it's gone fuzzy yeah. down here on my eyes. Good tackle there by Matt Freddy. Ball's going to be thrown up here. About 30, 30 metres out <laughs> in the pocket for Elijah Lanner. My eyesight's improved now, Heps. Yeah. Yeah. White throws the ball up. Changes or not. There's going to be a ball in here. Blues up by a solitary point at this stage. We knew the Eagles were going to come at some stage in this last half. They've done it early. Oh, long throw in. It's over the back. Who's first to it? Ezra Foster, handball out. Miller picks it up. Always got time, doesn't he, Kyle Miller? Swings around his Oh, it's a dangerous kick, though. Nigel Lanner got the numbers. Oh, Casey Carr. Car. This will be straight through the guts. You betcha. Nigel Lanner take the lead here. Five minutes into the third quarter. Nigel Lanner up by five points. Nine goal eight to nine goal three. Timmy Lanner have lifted and now Tumby have to find that little bit more to, to keep themselves in the contest. That's the thing with this eagle side. You blink it and suddenly they're in front. I think you have a lead on them. Just a couple of little skill error mistakes by Tumby and, and that's caused a couple of goals. So. All started from Matty Dyer here on the wing. Two on one contest and then uh, got the Trill Sumner holding the ball. So well done to Matty Dyer. Jaden Norton in the ruck. Swung out of that one. Ah, brings it out of the centre again. Oh, he ready to do. He's got the crumb here. He's got both Samson. He's going to do a little sneaky check side. Oh, he's hit Hits the post. Oh, Nigel Lanner full of run here. He, uh, he probably had a little bit more time than he realised. He had time to think to straighten onto his right. So. I think it's that perceived pressure that Tummy Bay put, put on him all game. Uh, you all expect, expect to be tackled. Here comes Joe Walker. That's That's long. Long. Oh, Roger James and Norton. Oh, <laughs> three on one here in the middle to your ladder. Having to come through with it. Campbell wide to... Snag Watson. He goes wide and he finds Sean Maxfield, I believe. Go, Jagger. Try to do it again, mate. A bit of a, uh, a fun stat about Sean Maxfield. He's kicked a goal in every single game this year, except for the two that he's played against Tumby Bay, probably. Well, he, can, he hadn't got one yet, so he's still going to keep his uh, form up. <laughs> Here he comes. Been a very important player for him all year. Maxfield. He's not going to make the distance, I don't reckon. Well, again, he'll start setting that story for a beyond. Right, Delaney here with a lead. Nine goal, ten, I think, to nine goal, three. Seven point lead here for the Eagles. And the Eagles are just keeping peppering the goals. Walker brings in to Calderwood. Sorry for an option. It's gone long down the line. Hartwig's there. Oh, Jacko Norton, as he's done in the grand finals for the last ten years, it feels like. Goes inside there, looking for Casey Carr. Short as always. They're on here if they can get the switch out. Oh, not the best kick. Snag Watson, handball straight at the top. Gets it back here. He's going to have a clean kick inside 50. Finding Stephen Cretton in there. 50 metres out, he's going to have to kick it. Finally gets a bit of space from Ezra Foster. He's looking for the pass. Or is interfered with. Yeah. Michael Cretton. Take the kick here about 45 metres out. Spiritual leader of this side. Yeah, once again, the greatest little turnovers from Tumby is just 
letting your ladder in. You can't give them an inch. Seems like they're finding a lot more space here out in this over compared to the first half. As Plugger Crittman comes in, oh, no. oh, he's hung that out way right. He's going to be lucky to score there. Hits the point post for an out of bounds on the fall. He's been to the Ryan Belt School of Kicking. <laughs> um, what, goals are out of bounds on the fall. Yeah, they don't count as a shot. <laughs> Tubby, Tubby's pressure's probably dropped 5 or 10% and that's, that's all it takes. So they need to pick that up in the next few minutes and get themselves back on, on track. Great catch, kick from Foster. Finding uh, Sumner out there on halfback. Goes in through the middle. Scored by Gahl. There's Plaza from Miller's got crash through. Well done. Out the, the cloud, he's gone long. Looking for Hartwick. Oh, that could really be given if the other one was given. Yeah, I think there's a little bit of fun on the contact there. Yeah, Watson comes through. They find great out here. Tends to happen though, but when you uh, switch that momentum. Oh, and he's gone into the middle and he's, and he's found Gale. Yeah, Gale's actually yeah. got no one to kick to down here. So I'm back in circus here at Tommy Bay. Yeah, there's, there's nothing down the line, mate. He had two ladder bikes stacked down the line. Jacko's Jacko Jacko. Horton. Tell you what, he's coming out of half time a completely different man here, Primey. Yeah, I think he's spent a bit of time in the rut, which just gets him in the game, so the have got that plow behind. The flying moustache <laughs> out to uh, Xavier Watson here. So they've got a different take measure than they had in the uh, in that <laughs> second quarter. Those, those balls have gone about 11 and 12 metres, respectively. Michael Cretton here on the back flank for the Nigelana. Yeah, he has it. found Gary. Crittman so, turning the ball over a little bit. Not something you see very often. Wade Gary goes inside, finding McLeod here right in front of us. McLeod played a great game. Probably the best player on the ground for the first half. There's not much up for it, Mark for Tubby. We've got three backs back there. Oh. He scored the centre. Oh, that's gone over the top oh. of everyone. Collins dropped that and he's handballed out. Oh, they're off here, United Jelana. Kicks out there, looking for Matt. Kelly brought it to ground. He wrapped it up and just as it comes free, the umpire scored for a ball up. Nigel Anna getting back and then bursting off half back. Love to play that slingshot game. Oh. Tap one down there by McDonald. Ball comes Kelly. out the back here to Tommy Kelly. Tommy Kelly out to Budgie. Budgie going forward. Sumner. Ball's come over the back. Norton back there first. Jagger cross onto that. Got, just got tackled, he's still got the hands forward, Sumner's just picked that up. Sell a bit of candy here I reckon. Just gets a handball out but turns it over straight away. Out to Conlon, Conlon goes inside there for Adam Manane. Adam Manane turns it straight back over. I tell you what, not the best part of footy to watch. Crash bang, tackles everywhere and it's going to be a throw to United Jelana. There's, there's a lot of uh, very rushed kicks and handballs. Matt Dyer now, after a great tackle there by Mitch Dolly. Xavier Watson goes out wide now looking for Matt Creddy. Great spoil. Great spoil there by right, Foster. Oh, that's a nice tackle, nearly holding the ball. Just gets his handball away in time. Oh, too high. Nope, umpire says play on. Great pressure from both sides here, Tommy. It is. There's probably a couple of free kicks both ways there. And neither play. Let him go in the grand final. That's what we love. Maxwell tried to bust three. Three guys, three tubby players tackling and bringing the ground. Numbers around the ball here again. So McDonald and Norton, and Norton's jumped early. Gale three, gets on the boat. Pressure there by Higgins. Great pressure on the second effort there to get the tackle and bring it for a ball up there. Just forward of the centre wing there for Tubby. Very open tubby forward line here. Come on, McDonald to go up against each other here. Tapped one down there by McDonald. Just gets a handball out now to Kai Miller on the right foot. That's something to see. Finding Higgins quite a busy game today. Cross three. On the ground. Hands and knees, just desperation to keep it in that area. Good work by Jack across there. Jack oh, Norton jumped early there. His yeah, I was, late. I was holding your breath. Sorry, I wasn't commentating. I was trying nah, to that's it. <laughs> uh, McDonald wins the knot down to Hartwick. He's tackled straight away. It'll be another ball up. 
Looks like the breeze has switched around a bit. Probably uh, going towards Yolanda's end. Maybe one or two goals in it. The goal takes it out of the ruck. He's got a kick. Oh. Or maybe he didn't get a kick. <laughs> He's holding the ball. Oh, that's all that matters now. Yeah. Looks like Xavier Watson's going to take it here. Xavier Watson's having a lot more ball in this, in this third quarter. Yeah, absolutely. Can't get a good player down for long. Xavier Watson. Like for Breed. Breed. Now I think uh, Bryce Breed, Michael Crittenden and Stephen Crittenden are only players to play in every uh, one of the last uh, eight or eight of the last ten premierships, sorry, as Watson finds happening here on the right back flank for United Atlanta. Not the best kick, probably put Watson in a bit of danger there. Good clean work there by the name. Oh, not the best kick there by Aaron Watson as he kicks it straight out of bounds and there'll be a tongue bay kick to bring it back into play. Tundee have lifted the pressure, it's not quite getting it on the scoreboard. McDonald goes up to the fly, comes to ground. Gary loses his feet. Jay back to back to James. Oh, James winding back the clock a little bit, the big fella. He's done one that's floated. Hartwig, Swain, Ackland there in front, ground the body. One on one here. Jack Bretton versus McDonald. The ball has trickled out of out of bounds. Zach Glover comes on, I think, for just about the first time today after playing a full game of Vigro. McDonald's in the Ricky Skinner goes out wide here looking for Watson. Right in front of us, Watson kept it in. Gets bumped late there by Calderwood. Completely missed by the umpire. Going forward. Oh, that that's blatant as you'll that see for the, the day. <laughs> I don't think you can argue with that free kick. Not at all. What the hell? That's in there, Matt there. It's one of those ones, if he's got to mark it anyway, you might as well make a man at Brony. Yeah, there was not, not a lot of malice, it was just uh, hands, hands out. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm here. Yeah. Matt Cretton in here. I reckon he's going for his six. He will be. He's averaged eight goals a game so far this year. He's on track for that so far today. Tell you what, it looks good off the boot. Looks very good off the boot. Two hands in the air. We've seen that a lot from Matt Cretton today. That's his sixth. And he's on track for his eight. I reckon that's 10-10 to nine goals three. Tumbi only had the solitary point this quarter, just haven't been as effective as he the taking it off. Hearing that famous old Eagles, Eagles chant <laughs> start to come up now. <laughs> oh, it's a great game. Like I said, Yolanda probably kicking with a bit of a breeze here in this quarter. Just popped up after half time, so Tumby Bay will be coming home with it. Donald and Conlon go up against each other in the ruck now. Look at early eight by McDonald. Miller comes through. Donald to the left. Laced him out perfectly, Conlon. Yeah, it did. And, and Michael's going to take that forward. The score by Miller. I uh, haven't crumbed and he's crumbed well today. Always played a really good game. Speaking of good games, here's Ezra Foster. Takes it on, gets free, just goes to the barrel, uncorks a genie. Sumner tries to work his way forward. Carl's got that going wrong in the four lines. McDonald here. Ricky Skinner. Oh, there's a great oh, grab. Well done. Well Tom done. Mc Tom McDonald, that is a good grab. It's one thing you love to see. I don't care what team you follow, but a big man jumping, jumping early and taking it in the jukes. I'd say this is an important kick. Um, it's probably an understatement. Tommy McDonald going for his third today. Going back to a seven point margin. And comes McDonald. He's been kicking well throughout the day. No, nah, that's just going to fade to the left end side. Unfortunate, but better signs than Tommy. Good ball movement. Oh, he's going back in. Going wrong. Yeah. Oh, that, oh. Is, that is a free kick. He went early. He touched the ball though. He did touch the ball, but he put his hands in his back. Really? Oh, I've lost my slot. McDonald again. I just scored at the last minute there by Laurie. And Black calls play on. Plays a stop there for a little bit. Good spoil there by Sutton. It goes on to the left. That's going to go through for a point. Oh, yes. Oh. Someone's got some there. Oh. Yeah. 
Well, I think the band just like actually called a uh, down the fold, but the ground boss at the start. So he's there, there, weaves around, weaves around the line, and finds Jacko Norton. Nice little uh, sneaky kick oh, there, finding Bryce Breed. This one, ball comes down. They have been very clean since the ball's hit the deck this quarter. They're not letting Tommy have much clear possession and uh, just capitalising on all these stacks that Tommy made. Quick goal, quick hands out. Go, Jeff. Jordan just gets the ball inside 50 there. Matt Creedy's got space inside 50, looking for his seven. Does he kick it? He does! Matt Creedy is going to get cramp in the shoulders every time he puts the double fist up. Seven goal for Matt Creedy now. He's three in this quarter. The fifth goal, the man has picked this quarter. That takes him 11-10 to come to 9-4. He's an absolute freak, Matt Creedy. Yeah, it's a, it's a three goal bucket, so going in, take a couple of goals down, and uh, almost blowing Tommy out of the water this quarter. Premiership quarter, they call it that for a reason. Tommy needs to get that. Great tap down there by Norton. Can't hold the way through, but the tackle. So it's just, the body's going everywhere here. Right, Miller's on the bottom there for Tommy. So Norton and Dom are out again. Nice tap down there by Norton, getting himself into the game this half. As United especially to come grand final, so you're playing in the back lines for the first half and always, always bringing him to the ruck in the last half and always goes close to the medal at the end of the day. He just ducks well, he ducks early. He doled it out. He goes for Cloud though. For Cloud, I should say. Oh, oh, has he gone here? Oh, I tell you what, if he kicks this, this will be some sort of goal. Eagles with the numbers back there, just push it through by Xavier Watson. In the back line, it's playing a bit of a, uh, a run with that pop, Xavier Watson here. Watson comes up wide, finding Zach Lover. Lover goes long down the line with that left. He's also got a fantastic moustache. I don't think you can get through a year and go without mentioning that beautiful moustache with Jackson Norton. Goes up wide there, confused by Wade Gary. Once again, yeah, yeah. Happen has always got more time than the rest, rest, of, the, rest of the team. Matt Kirtney goes short here, looking for his brother Stephen. I think he's going to be able to switch there, but Kirtney's always got a swap full forward and centre half forward. Spot Kirtney. I don't know his best game today, he's the first of all he's got the chocolate so far. Have a big game and have a big moment. Here comes Stephen Cretton. 45 out, only 45. That's a very good time sign, guys. It looks good off the boot. And that's through. And Ike Delana with a dominant third quarter here. Just reminding the rest of the association and Tony Bay why they've been the best side over the last decade here. Well, pretty much doubled their score in that quarter. They've come in at 12 goals, 10 to 10. Yeah. What a quarter. It was all through the midfield. I thought Dane Hadner in that quarter as well. He set up so many goals. It was always at the feet of off the big men. And of course, can't talk about this game without talking about that really, I think, from. No, no, I mean, kick seven and then you're going off. And he hasn't, hasn't missed. Yeah. Like, um, when he gets the ball. So, you know, just missing that, that night, as they always do, and uh, Tommy couldn't, couldn't match that, so the best thing is, there's another four to go, we'll just see what happens. Right, 
the crowd starting to make their way off the field for this last quarter of the Great Flinders Football League Grand Final. Primey, Tumby Bay need to kick four goals to win it. Can they do it? Oh, I'm going to be a tough ask. They have to, they have to lift. Um, they look at half, the way they were playing at half time, you'd say yes. The way they, they've just slipped off that pace a little bit and uh, they're going to have to really, really play a special quarter of footy here to get over the line. Yep. Just looking at uh, some of the matchups, who they put where. Looks very similar to how they started last quarter. Uh, I reckon Tom McDonald's come down to centre half back. Um, so I don't know where they're throwing. Uh, Ezra Fossum probably gone to full forward. Um, just for, for a, a different option up there. And a bit more pace, a bit more targeted uh, forward. So. Here we go. Last First quarter of the 2023. Great Flinders Football League A grade grand final. Ball comes down. Here goes Sumner. It's going to need a bit of magic for, Tum for Tumby to get over the line. Ball gets kicked inside 50. Oh, Ricky Skinner with oh. courage. Well done. Ricky Skinner, never in doubt. Great work there by Ricky Skinner. Super courageous. Back with the flight of the ball. Didn't know what was coming the other way. I think both players went at the ball. I don't think it was it. But you know, just a little bit of high contact, so the, so the free kick got paid. Yeah. Goes short to Dane Hamner. The, the, the bloke we were talking about had an exceptional third quarter. Oh, absolutely. And definitely got him got him going with there. A bit of a running carry out on that wing for the Eagles. The Samson, he's gone out wide. Charlie! Wow. And Conlon. Conlon against Higgins once again. <laughs> no, <laughs> mismatch of heights. Well, Casey Carr's up forward here. Ball goes inside, looking for him. Good fist down there by Tumby Bay. Ball's on the deck. Wrapped up well there. It's going to be thrown out. Thrown up there, 45 metres out from United Atlanta's goal. I was thinking that three-quarter time. Matt Creedy's kicked seven goals for half-time, and I actually don't think Tom Kelly's played a bad job on him. <laughs> uh, the ball's come in pretty well. And, uh, you can't do much. If the midfielders have time, as a full-back, your job is extremely hard. It'll get thrown up there again. Tap one down there by James. Miller just goes on the boot. Smothered by his own teammate there. Oh, oh, oh that's going to be holding the ball. That's one of those smothers that you laugh about when it happens to someone else. <laughs> He's still a bit crook there as Wade Gary. A bad bounce there for Tom Sandler. Um, Samson right. kicks it inside 50. Kyle Miller sits under it. Oh, drop what he probably should have taken was Adam Manane there. Casey Carr on the right foot looking for... Oh, oh Matt Crittenden. Great body work. Lining up for number eight here today. We said at the start of the game, he averages eight, goal game, eight goals a game throughout the season. What do you reckon, Primey? Well, he hasn't missed one today um, when he's inside the 45s, and I, uh, you can't do anything but back him from here. If he kicks it, look for the double fist up in the air. He's been doing that all day. He's got a good view of it here. Tell you what, it's swinging back nicely. There goes the double fist up in the air. United Jelana strike first here in the last quarter. And that's going to make the job very, very tough for Tumby Bay. They need five goals now to, to get back in uh, back in front. So, plus again, great ball work from Milano and just good use of the body by Freddy. Osh's handcock. It's Osh's handcock, isn't it? Is it so Osh's handcock? Is it? Okay. The big Eagles. It's like you're calling what you hear in the AFL. Just going loud here at the Coplex. Conlon wins the tap down there. Good work there by Watson to get it back. Habner again. A lot of torps here in this game. Whoever said the torps dead obviously haven't been watching much of great Flinders football. Kai Miller just goes off the ground here, Primey. Hey, yeah, he just gets it forward, but numbers uh, with the Atlanta. Pretty around the body. Casey Carr very close to the bike there. Dries on after that. Up at the car. Little trip forward. Has that snag Watson, I reckon. Made his way inside 50. Loves a goal snag. Doesn't get to kick many of them. It, uh, it's again, like, I say the tubby heads have dropped, but this goal won't just make it difficult, but they, they just need that bit of pride to, to, to lift and find something. Bit of magic. Anyway, in comes Aaron Watson here. Pete and the crowd will tell you the story and the players. Snag loves a goal. In comes Aaron Watson. He's put it up high. Off the touch. And James is going to grab that one in the line. As he's done for so long in his career. 
That's a good drive. James running. Oh, oh. he started his career <laughs> when he was playing on the wing. Alan just getting the kick away there out to the wing. Turned over again. Nigel Anna just wrapping up everything. Adam Manane here in the middle. Great Miller spoil. comes from nowhere. Oh, ball. Well done. Great spoil there by Miller. Sumner. That's gone over the back and out of bounds. I think it might be just a touch on it for Australia. Gonna need some magic from Kai Miller or McLeod or, or Sumner. One of their midfielders here, part, I reckon, probably. Part with, with the big punch forward. Higgins after it. Sumner's picked that up. Looking into the forward lines. Just a good little spoil and just takes that ball out of bounds by none other than the, the, <laughs> the, the flying moustache. The flying moustache, yes. Throw in. I think they desperately need a goal here. Sumner, a snap around the body. I think it's three for a behind. What have you got the score out there, Primey? Uh, I think it is 13 10 to 9 goal 6. Correct. Blues need five goals to win. It's not going to be the easiest task. Watson on the ground just keeps moving it forward. That's what the Eagles have done in this second half. Just keep moving Maxfield. the ball forward. Maxfield goes out wide there, finding Adam Manane. Manane with a short little kick, finding Casey Carr on the right forward flank. He's going to go over the top, looking for Matt Cretton. He's outbodied. Tom Kelly there, looking for his ninth. Is he going to kick it? No, he's missed it. He's missed one, Promi. Yeah, that's, I mean, great use of the body again. Um, I think, I think he's able to tell him from set shot, so that would have been sort of nice little touch on the, uh, on the day. I'll get off here. That's right. A bit of a goal saving tackle there by Bajaya. Great second effort if Tommy Bay are going to win. They're definitely going to need more of them. Good spoil down there by James. However, it's Nigel Anna all on the ground, wrapped up. Going to be a throw up in the true centre position here at Kaku. Things are getting desperate. Joe Walker's gone straight down the guts there. I think Tommy's got to find the quickest way home to, to, exactly go, to go right for it from here on in. Bullshit was out there. Umpire's called a free there to Xavier Watson. Quite a late free there, I think. Uh, yeah. yeah, in the back. I will agree. Right on that cricket pitch. It's not very uh, soft, though. I fell over on it. No, no one's happened yet. I just fell over it earlier in the year, probably. All right, could be caught here by Brody Higgins. Shrugs him off. Does Watson. Goes wide to Brady. Reid goes forward looking for Casey Carr again there. Casey Carr's come into his own, own in this last, last half. Spent a bit of time in the middle and just find plenty of the ball up for it. Absolutely. Taking his time here. On the penetrating kick there looking for Cretman. Is he marked that? That's a great mark. Oh. Um, Joe Walker could not put much more pressure on than what he did there. Um, a human glove. Pretty lining up through his night, and this this will be a great kick if he gets this one. Got in for a pass. Not his best of the day. And so as, as a forward, you shouldn't pass pretty. <laughs> case you're watching this later. Even if you're 50 metres out, yeah, on the have a shot. <laughs> Nigel Anna will until he take control of this game. Kai Miller here. Uncalled a few uh, a, a few torpedoes in the last quarter last week. We'd love to see that again got here. Back. Gone short to Calderwood. Oh, that's all right. Good pressure here by United Lana. Calderwood's gone long. Sitting under it is Colin. Foster with the spoil. This guy is Ricky Skinner again. Oh, not Ricky Skinner's best kick. I'm sure that'll get watched later on and you will have to cough up a few beers for that one. Oh! Nigel Jones sold a bit of candy and he's done the same with the kick. Oh, he's found someone there in the pocket. Xavier Watson's played that role superbly in the last half. Kick behind the play, or even if he's playing off the back flank, just reading it. Not necessarily worrying about his man, or oh, that's a hard hit there. Aaron Watson, he's had a, a better last half. I think he's got a bit of cramp. It is quite warm out there still. Obviously he hasn't listened to Tiff Firth throughout the week. She's always got the, uh, the, the cure for that. 
Hydrate? <laughs> or don't, uh, wait a few or two, don't run. <laughs> Depends what sort of hydrating you're doing, I think. Ricky Skinner goes in short there, finding Adam and Nane. Short again. Just controlling the ball here, the Eagles, taking a few minutes off the clock. Five goals up. Oh, that is a great mark again for Maxfield. Strong hands out in front of the out in front of his body, doesn't he? That's hard. Sting's been taken out of, it, it has. out of this a bit. It's a bit, uh, it's a bit hard to commentate, isn't it? It is. It, it, it's not hard. Your lad is just using the ball. Nice. Lad is holding the ball. It's all got to be 50 holding the yeah. ball. <laughs> and Higgins is, and that should be 50 for not giving the ball back correctly. And 50 for running through the mark. <laughs> um, Good spoil out of bounds there by Adam and Ayn. We won't, we won't pick on it, but uh, like your ladder have just been clearly better in this second half. Yeah. And Tubby just haven't been able to match it when, it, when it's counted. Good tap, one down Gale there by goes forward. James. On the treadmill a little bit there. Yeah, he was, he, he was running, but one moving fast. Back to Laurie, out the car. And Higgins has got him again. No, he slips the tackle. Watson. Eagles have done this really well, we just launched off half back. That's a fantastic tackle there by McLeod. He just not giving up there, just kept chasing. Exactly what the Blues need. A little bit of magic here. He's about 70 out, he's going to have to be looking for someone leading. Eagles have got good numbers back. Well, the umpire's picked up something here in the goal square. Whoa, oh, that's... I think he went for a lead and uh, Aaron Laurie just grabbed him around the waist. Ezra Foster here. 10 metres out, directly in front, should make no mistake. Well, that's probably the cleanest entry into the fourth last time he's had in the second half. Foster brings it back to, I think we need, probably would need four goals now. 13, 11 to 10 goals, six. What? Thinking that goal, there wasn't that much excitement from the Blues there, no, compared to the first half. No, I think, I think as you said, the Sting's gone out of the game and, um, there's a few guys running on treadmills out there. And look, I don't want to judge that because <laughs> I'm not probably the, the best runner under the sun. But um, yeah. Tubby need a little bit of spark and more there, one Josh. more just to, to keep their interest in it. Yeah, Kyle Miller here on the bench. We'd love to have him out in the field right now. Oh, great centre clearance by Maxfield going inside 50. Not the best kick. Here's Boggy Cretton. Oh, he's going inside out. That looks right off the boot as he finished it off. Goes and celebrates with the Kaku crowd. Yeah, if you're a rep son, I'm just about to be telling you to bring her in, I reckon. The, uh, the good sides respond quickly, and that was just great. Um, Tumby, Tumby needed two in a row, and Yolanda just responded well. Quick set of pants and finish up the year. Try Miller off. I thought that was a. I'm not sure if he hurt himself, but a player like that, even if he's absolutely knackered, you want to keep him out on the ground as much as possible, wouldn't you, Brian? Yeah, just just like a couple of minutes spell and um, just got lost in the rotation there. Ball goes up again there. Maxwell's had a great last half. Gets her hands out, finds Norton. What's that? Free kick dealt with afterwards, Maxfield, I think. Clyde Miller showing a bit of frustration here. I think there is a little bit of frustration coming in from the Tubby class. Maxfield really lifted, lifted in this last half. He finds Norton by himself. He's got wide out here. You find Mitch Jolly. Typical Mitch Jolly kick there. Quads <laughs> go. Fucking swing on his left. Hartwig. Nice kick there by Gow on his left. Hartwig will be right. Don't forget Yolanda will be watching this. There's a push there. There's a Fossil with another free kick and another chance to, to slot a goal for Tumby. Desperately needs his kick here. <laughs> Move from uh, full back to full forward in the second half. He's, he's been a goal kicker throughout the year, so he's not in a unknown territory. Kicking from close to 50. Distance shouldn't be a problem. Foster comes in. Very deliberate approach. Nope. It's good off the boot, just fading away right. Can't be, can't be just lost. 
Lovely netball, just lost. Austin District just won the Austin District won the rest of the game. So we've got another 15 years to go. Sorry, I've got a bit of... That's right, Bromley, I'm with you on that one. <laughs> anyway, Richard Skinner here in the back pocket for the Eagles. Sorry for that uh, little. Uh, there's an interesting bunch of rules in that get go. Matty Dye here. We'll get back to the footy. Matty Dye, deep in the back pocket. Super underrated player is Matty Dye. Goes long down the line. McDonald should cut this one off. Yeah, he could grab it, Donald. But the Donald boys are ahead to be good today. Yeah. Oh, Day, uh, great contest. That's got to be holding the ball. No, I might say to play on. Zach Glover looking for his second. The day. Oh, Matt Creedy's got space in front of him. Right. Poor bounce. Tom Kelly's coming. Tom Kelly just ha has to keep control of the ball there. Tom Kelly just bounced hard all day. Maxwell's gone forward. Zach Glover. On the left. Oh, oh unselfish. unselfish. Good work there by Zach Glover. Keep you cramping up. Second game for the day. Able to stay calm, find Dane Havner, 25 metres out directly in front. Should really kick this. Seal the game here for the Eagles. The, uh, the next big decision will be who, who is going to be best on ground. And, and Dane must be in the mix for his second half, I would think. Oh, absolutely. Dane, Matt Freddy. Um, I mean, you could put a blanket over the Eagles midfield in that last half. And what's he done here? Did he fade it back? No. Just to the left hand side, through behind. That'd be 14, 12 to 10 goals, 7. Joey Walker goes on. Zach Glover standing under it. Oh, oh, just, just taps it out there. Good work there by McLeod. Just keeps on working. Good intercept there by Jack Fretton. So James about 40 from Walter Candy there. Good fist there by Wade Gary. Ricky Skinner charge through like always. And so through Sunder. This way, that way. And inside out talk. Well done. Do that again. Oh, great, Mark. Foster. He's off. You are well and truly off. <laughs> it was a good mark and a good call by the umpire. He took it and went off, but I don't know if he thought it was going to be a mark. I always thought if you play on from a mark, you should be holding the ball, but that's just me. Uh, Xavier Watson gets wrapped up straight away. Or not with tripped. Yeah, there, there has been a couple of, I would say, interesting calls. I'm not saying they're not there. There's been ones I haven't seen for a while. No, no, no. Ah, that's all right. Grand final day. Best time to bring them out. Yes. Ball goes out wide there, finding Maxfield. Yelena just had to find a bit of space now. It's, it's tough to run out of the legs as they, as they have to take that with the stay in the game. Yeah, that loss to uh, Og Mitchell Ori. It's definitely, uh, I, th I think it's just that started the dominance in the midfield for the Eagles. Just Dane Havner gets it in the middle here, finding Matty Dyer under pressure from Thomas Allen. Hudson Franks, Bo Sampson here, one against two. Good oh, work there by Conroy. Here on the way back crew in the background. Oh, what's it just made him earn that one, didn't he? Tag light. <laughs> That's actually close to 50. And more. There was a couple of oh, James there yeah, and there, Jackson Norton. There was an elbow in first and a throw, and there's probably been a, a bit of tit for tat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, there was a punch there. I think there's been a couple of sort of just stuck in there. Lucky it's not on video. We won't go to the match review committee on Monday night. Nice. Yeah, busy then. Yeah, <laughs> and Jack Cross is about to get yellow carded for a punch there at the bottom. Yeah, easy yellow. Yeah, there's the arrow button there. Oh, my God, mate. Oh, and Ricky. I always find that interesting when um, the punch is run, there's nearly always two that get sent off with the yellow card. Well done, Rick. Well done, well, mate. Two. And 50, 50 metres yeah, as well. The yellow card is a bit more than 50, so you might have two sent off. Uh, 25 by the looks, or a short 50. Finding Aaron Watson there. Aaron Watson. Steam's definitely out of this game now. 
And it's safe to say, Eagles have won their ninth flag of the years. Kai Miller, surely you bring out a torpedo here, Kai. Give the people what they want. He's rather good. He's got about 40. He's rather drop punt. Oh, really good mark there by Conlon. Balls hit the ground. Norton, the crumman, I suck to see very often. Ox Calderwood tries to fend off. Joey Walker at the back. Sitting along down the line. Aaron Murray and Brody Higgins. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a fly away against the heavyweight. That is a fly. Oh, that's going to be holding the ball there. The umpires just need to take a, a, just a couple of quick free kicks and take things over here. Hudson Frank's going into the three lines. Andrew Foster. Ball sits over the back. Jack Green brings it out. Pull it up. Sumner, great crumb. That's a shot goal. Oh, great goal there by Latrell Sumner. 50 metres, picked it up, full pace. What you like to see. There's still another heap of celebration there from Tumby. Um, still need another four to, to get back in front, but I think the, the game is well and truly done. Great Flinders Football League, best under 21 this year was Latrell Sumner. Uh, I think he's also still got another two or three years left in it, so if he stays around here, uh, I think he might have a, might win a couple more of them and who knows what else from him. Oh, look, a great footballer, hadn't been his best today, but uh, yeah, he can really turn it on when he gets a chance. Conlon and Donald go up there again. Tap, oh sorry, shot there by Xavier Watson, out the case of car. Once again another torpedo, good fist down there by Max, Maxfield. Tom Kelly, back that ball. Gary. Oh, oh, Watson just waltzes through the middle as calm as you like, looking for Cretanen. Cretanen's going to be dangerous. He's going to look inside. Now have a shot, big fella. Oh, oh he's lost his radar. <laughs> Tom Kelly attacked the ball, but he pushed back to the back on Freddie there, so Mike Gary will bring this in. Even though the Eagles got to run out winners, Tommy Bay, geez, they shot the Eagles early, didn't they? It's actually been a very good grand final. And you know, Tommy Bay will come away disappointed because they, like, a couple of times this year when they've played, they've shown they can match it. Yep. But they've not been able to, to keep that pressure up for four quarters. Great intercept mark there by Aaron Laurie. Big A train. Always a reliable defender, even forward when he gets up there. Finds Jed Manane here out in the wing with the Eagles. Jed Manane. Off the side of the boot, but it's going to land very well for Max Field. Yeah, good mark. Lucky, lucky pass, we call that one. Yeah. Max Field looking at his four guys. Plenty of options here. Takes his time. Looks to Zach Glover. There we go. Give the people what they want. Finish it off here, Zach. Hmm. Very close to bringing home the second medal to the day. Unfortunately, the Atlanta B grade. Tommy Bay just getting over the line in the last minute. Yes. Zach Glover here. On the right, on the right side for a left footer. See if he's going to make the distance here. Yeah. Yeah. Late in the day. I'll tell you leg. what. That is a lovely leg. Get around him, boys. Second game for the day. Late in. Kicks one of the best goals of the day. Zach Glover. Take a bow. Look at the boys get around him. Doesn't he love it? And, and for Zach, what happens? Could this put him in B grade then to, to front back up and, and play a game A grade? Outstanding effort. Late, late in for Ben Carr. Yeah, very late in. Who said Ruckman can't kick goals, Brian? Uh, probably a fourth. So six in Back into it, just had a bounce. From the, and the goal go out. Oh, great handle there. Bo Sampson running at full speed. Goes straight over the top there. Back to the good pace. Back to the again. Goes inside. Oh, great spoil there by Joey Walker. Caught a little bit back here. Tackled well there by Spoggy Kirkman. Eagles faithful love one more. 
You know, United Atlanta love coming home in that last quarter, kicking towards the Kuklex. Yeah, just out of bounds, another throw in. Once again, the, the, the ball is, had been a heavy play moment, but when you Atlanta have had that little bit of space there, their class has gone through. Once again, another <laughs> tap to the ground, pick up by Gary and another ball up. So. Taylor two halves today. Ball gets thrown up again there. Zach Lover, McDonald. Tap one down there by McDonald. Adams just got a hold of his arm. Ball gets pushed out to the boundary line. Jolly Walker out in the field. Stiffy Conlon will be kicking the ball in here. I think he's uh, hoping it went out of bounds too early so he doesn't have to. That's uh, correct. Uh, now the umpire called it down there, the boundary umpire. Has, has been called. Closer to the about 60 or 70 metres out from goal. Sadly, Watson goes in short. Cut off again. Well, there by Joey Walker. He's been a ball back there today. He has, has been one of Tuggy's better players. He never stops trying. Joey Walker off the instep a little bit there. Nice little tap there by Jackson Norton. The Orange Lanes keep pushing the ball forward. They just never stop trying throughout the day. The Lanes just weigh the numbers now. Oh, good hand out, out to Hudson Franks. A couple of speedsters working together there. Hudson Franks. Hoping Ezra Foster is quick. He's quick, but he might not be quite that quick. Ball's coming out on the boundary line now. It was just a surprise for both of us. It was. There's Lockie Gale looking inside. Down Grant McLeod there in the centre. Probably been Tommy Bay's best player today, you have to think. Brady Higgins in the four lines, one on two. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Ball gets away. Ball gets away. Well done, Adam. Oh. To Norton. Oh. Oh. Uncorked the genie. Oh. Jeremy Nane. Jeremy Nane out in front of Zach Lover. The left is failing right about now. And Tom Kelly. Right oh. there. Oh. Good tackle over there. Oh. Well, the return around here. Good body work there by McDonald. There's the sign. United Jelana are premiers for the ninth time in 11 years. What a club. What a team. Oh, look, outstanding team. Um, we can't press them. They, they had the pressure put on them in that first half um, by a very committed Tumby side. Tumby just put, couldn't keep that pressure up when when the Atlanta lifted in the second half, they didn't take them back to the So, great effort from the Atlanta. Class has absolutely come to the fore in that. Especially in that third quarter. And it was just great to see, I think. You can always tell those those class sides, you can keep them down for one or two quarters, but they're going to get you at some stage, Tom. They are. Like, the Atlanta boys will be very excited. And, uh, and I think they celebrate hard whenever they win. Um, I know the Tubby boys will be disappointed. Um, but yeah, they'll, they'll sit there and regroup and think of, think of what they could have been if they would kept that level up for the, for the second half. So, yeah. oh, so congratulations to you, mate. Give us a quick tip before we go of a, uh, a best on ground, Tommy. Oh, look, I'm, I'm a full forward. Um, Matt Pretty, I reckon, in the, in the first half, he's going to be a little bit. I think he had four out of their six. Yeah. Um, and even in that third, I think he's got three. So. He, he's probably, he's one, Zave, um, Zave Watson in the guts, yeah. like, he got taxed the ball and he's, he's a well-known name and I would be surprised if I'm going to get Dan Hadden. Yeah, I've got to agree with those two, I like the yeah, item for Dan Hadden here. Had a terrific game there for the Eagles. Um, we know they've got class ball users, but it's just great to see. Um, some of those youngsters coming up as well. Um, thought Adam and Aiden played a uh, underrated game in the midfield. Casey Carr as well. I mean, you could list off just about the whole team. Tubby Bay, Grant McLeod, I thought was their best player. Jolly Walker across half back. But ultimately, it was the Eagles day. Running out winners, uh, probably a lot of, it was pretty comfortable in the end, wasn't it? Well, I think my uh, well, scoring could have got a bit messy. 11 goals, 7 to. 15-14, so yeah, look at the scoring shots, that's a big story. Finally well, started to get straight in that last half, but that's about it for us today, Primey. Um, it's been a great call. Thanks for having us. Thanks, Ed.